with this uh, month of uh, Lonely Trollops, I'm reading Cousin Henry, uh, an 1879 short novel by Anthony Trollope. Uh, actually very short in for for a trollop novel it's only it was published i think in two volumes is like 24 chapters uh so you know it's a very sh it's a short sharp story uh very much uh focused on cousin henry cousin henry uh is uh is one of the uh nephew is a nephew of uh of uh Inderfer Jones, owner of the Lanfear estate in Wales, where, uh, the old man is dying, uh, and he has, he has the kind of the impulse that I need to, I need to, um, kind of, uh, settle my, settle my state. And he's been torn because, uh, if you did what was kind of the, the traditional thing, which is, uh, to entail, entail the property, it would go to the oldest living male heir, which would be Henry Jones. Uh, um, but he's he's also got uh, another another rel relative a niece uh, Isabel Broderick who has stayed with him he's loved by all the people around knows all the tenants of the lands uh and uh, it's like that's who he really really wants to s give it to and he's kind of gone back and forth back and forth on what will i do now Isabel Isabel is a very kind of upright a good 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 character and she's like no you should you should set you should you should settle it on Hen on cousin henry he's the one who's like you know that's the tradition that's the proper way of preserving the land that's that's always how it's like it's the kind of respect of respect of the land that that's that's what we should do and he's like oh i don't know i don't know and he's go back and forth he indeed does actually write up a will Send giving the land, giving giving this estate to uh, Henry, uh, even though he doesn't really like the guy, uh, and uh, giving a giving a, a thing of like four thousand pounds to Isabel. It turns out that he's actually spent this money to gain back some of the land that had been lost from the from the estate, uh, so that actually isn't there. So it's sort of more of a symbolic thing. But he decides, okay, I'm going to bring up Henry because, you know, I'm, I'm leaving the land. But the more he, Henry is there, the more people just dislike him. He uh, is somebody who's described at the beginning of the book. He was a boy, a young, as a young boy, he was given to lying. Uh, and, um, you know, as he's gotten older, he's gotten, he seems to have gotten better. He's kind of, he, he did kind of ask for money from the, his uncle because he'd run up bills and stuff like that. But now, now he's a, he's a, a clerk at a, at a, in the, in London, a law clerk in London. And he seems to be kind of making a go of things. He seems to be fairly res respectable. So they invite him up, but still nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. He's, he's, he's kind of slimy. He gets, um, um, Inifer Jones sort of says like, to Isabel, you should marry him because that way you would get the land. And Isabel's like, I would never do that. I despise him. And it's just like, there's a revulsion there that she just has on the court, even before this, the events of the novel unfold. And, uh, and as we, and, and, uh, and she's just like, I'm, look, I'm only ever going to love, love for, uh, reasons of, I'm only going to marry for love. I'm, ne I would never marry for, for property and stuff like that. And indeed, she has someone, uh, back in Hereford where her family is. There is a, uh, poor clerk, clerk that she's like, Oh, I, I actually, I really love him. And so she asks her uncle, is like, okay, if I marry him. And at this point, he was thinking, I'm going to settle the property on her. And it's like, well, her, his father was an innkeeper. Oh, that, that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. And she's like, okay, fine. And that's it. She never mentions again and she declines it. She declines this guy that she really loves because she also loves her uncle and feels the great duty of he is, he is the one who is going to settle this on her uh, and stuff like that. Um, as the, as it falls out in the novel, uh, he actually seems he, he, because of Henry being such a kind of just, off-putting guy he tries to he he tries to actually he goes like oh i would get i would get better lock on the property if i propose if i propose to uh to isabel so he he tries proposing to her saying like well it's a good deal you know you'll make money off of it basically kind of thing you know in in a way and she's like i would never i would never marry you and again she says just like i despise you <laughs> and i'm i'm sorry to speak and she's like she kind of regrets immediately you know being so rude to him but it's like no i could never I could never, I could never love you. And that's the only way I would ever do anything like that. And I, and he get, she gives him advice. She gives him advice. She says, look, look, he's decided on you for the property. Just leave him alone because you're, you personally just piss him off. You're, you, you, if the more you press him, the more you try and ingratiate yourself with him, the more he's going to dislike you. Uh, and, um, and, and, 
he's and 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 also don't tell him that you tried to propose to marriage to me because that's not going to come off well either and he chooses to ignore both of these things uh he he presses himself in with the old man again who is dying and does not really want to spend the last days with this 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 guy this guy uh and he's also pissed off because it's like oh you basically you you proposed it as like a contract of a getting you're look what you're gonna get young lady if you if you if you do my thing and it's like you've totally misjudged my niece there uh and uh all that results in him switching the the the, the um switching the will again but he doesn't call in his lawyer he calls a couple of local farmers to witness what he has just carefully copied out himself and then he dies. And as he dies, he lets her, Isabel know it's been done. It's been done. And she gets, she, she, she understands that to say like, Oh, I think he switched his will again, but she doesn't say anything because she doesn't know what it means. Maybe it's just the dying words of an old man. And maybe it's not particularly got anything like that. Uh, but when they pull out the will, it is the older of the wills. The new, newest will is not there. And the, the farmers who witnessed it are quite outraged. It's like, no, there is a will. There is a will. And, uh, so they search, they search, they search, uh, the, uh, the, the family seat, uh, looking for the will. Uh, cousin Henry sitting in the library, very still, not helping, not saying anything, watching, sweating, looking nervous, nervous, guilty as hell, which, you know, you know, maybe he's nervous because it's like, oh, maybe I'm going to lose it all again. Maybe he doesn't know anything. Uh, and he's just sort of sitting there, sitting there and, um, everyone goes away. And that, this is when I guess we get into the crux of the novel is that yes, the second will was made and it was preserved. And he picked, uh, cousin Henry picked, had picked up one of the sermon books, books of collected sermons that, uh, uh, Indifer Jones was reading at the kind of last parts of his life and finds the will inside and shuts it and goes and puts it away it back in the bookshelf without saying anything. And the rest of the novel is the fact that, um, cousin Henry is a really unlikable guy. He is, uh, he's, he's a coward. He's, um, but he's, he, he's not, he's somebody who's like actually not villainous enough. If you, if he'd been, if he was villainous enough, he would immediately burn the, the will. He would immediately have it destroyed. He would do all these kind of dastardly things, but he's, he can't, he can't. There's a part of him that says like, I'm not a bad person. And there's like a lots of rationalizations. There's lots of him w- trying to wiggle out of stuff. Um, there's a lot of him just getting kind of abused by the people here because, you know, they'll ask him direct questions and he'll say, I don't know where the, I, I, you know, it's like, I have not hidden the will. I, I, I have not tried to, I've not destroyed it. Mm-mm. And it's like, everyone can say like, you are guilty as sin, but we can't prove anything. And uh, meanwhile, Isabel is like, she's gone back to Erreford and she's like, oh no, I can't marry you still because now I'm a poor woman and I'm not going to take the 4,000 pounds that, um, that uh, the, 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 the family lawyer, um, Mr. Apjohn has said like, look, to cousin Henry, like, look, you still have to actually honor this 4,000 pounds, even though we don't actually have the money, we can just kind of work it off the, work it off the estate. Can't we? And she's like, and he's like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, fine. I don't think she'll take it. And it's like, they take that to mean he's like trying to wiggle out of it. It's like, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. And she's like, no, I would never take money from that man. I would never take money from that man. Cause she knows, she knows she can tell by how he's, how he was sweating and stuff like that. And so the rest of the novel is just watching, is watching cousin Henry squirm. It's much more about actually, this is a good novel for that. Hey, the, the, the title character is the, the focus and, and watching him squirm and watching him, um, wiggle. It almost reminds me in some ways of like a Dostoevsky character of just like kind of an internal, just kind of him wiggling around. I mean, it's trollop. So it's done in maybe a much more, a more humane kind of a light sort of way, but uh, it's, it's, it's a kind of a fun later trollop novel where, uh, you get to just focus in on this, um, despicable, cowardly but in some ways also semi sympathetic character you can't help but pity him uh and uh also actually a good examination of the idea of of the entail of this whole thing of preserving the land of you want to have uh this idea of like you want to have uh the 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 son the eldest son take the property and there being it's not just kind of a thing of keeping wealth but of the um the things of the care, the care of the land, the care of this property, the care of the people that live upon it, uh, and how much uh, that that interests 
everybody around, not just simply the uh, the uh, jo the Indifer Jones that family. So uh, yeah, yeah, it was a fun a fun fun quick read of a, a lonely trollop this month. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll see what next month brings. All right, more videos later.